All right, all right, all right, all right. We've got Brakeson versus Brakesikin versus Skeptile. I'm very skeptical about the Skeptile. Wouldn't you say so, SK Dale? I'm very skeptical about the Skeptile. Very skeptical. All right. So and also what? What's with like the weird like decisions in this in this monthly today? There have been some weird decisions. Brakeson. Actually going, um, if you are actually going, uh, Eveltal here. With, a uh, Sceptile using a good choice using, um, Whimsicott. Gets a counter. Into the fireworks, calling out the, uh, fire, uh, bleh. Uses the combo. It's really good. Really good combo there by Genie. I'm glad he learned that. Or he may have known that already, I just didn't know. Breaks in using her counter to cause the phase change. Leaf Blade! <laughs> Meaty Leaf Blades! Uses Whimsicott. So those. <laughs> Whimsicott 2 OP! Whimsicott 2 OP for Breaks in. It's just like free, free walk ins. Still getting those um, hits in. Calls an Eveltal. That actually might be it. That might do it. Yeah, that'll do enough damage. It would have been cooler if she just used a fireball. Alright, getting into round two here. Genie's still showing that he can fight here. He can fight this. Getting in with the Leaf Blade. Uh, not in the precise range for the uh, Leech Seed. Ooh, catches that jump. That's not going to hit, though. He will be on the ground, so it's going to force him to shield. Both calling in their bursts. Or actually, no, my bad. Uh, Brixen does not have a burst right now. Or no, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, never mind. She doesn't. Uh, calls in burst. Attack. Shields it. Her being in Sunday Day just looks like she has burst. Calling in his leech seeds, keeping keeping a bit of pressure on, but Fiora has more pressure, unfortunately. Sceptile has less um, pressure, projectile pressure than Sceptile right now. Calls in the Aveltal. Doesn't combo off of it, unfortunately. Does get the grab on the counter though. And that will do it for game one. Fiora takes this first game. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right. No changes going into game two right away. I like how Fiora just stood there for a split second. Just, what's he gonna do? Uses the boomerang. It doesn't even look like a boomerang either. It's just a stick. It's just a stick, but it acts like a boomerang. Ooh, nice CADC into grab. Calling that. Oh, get hit by it. Probably will get hit by that Evolto. I don't... No, he doesn't get hit by it. He's kind of keeping him at bay right now. Nice jump there by Genie. And that won't do it. That'll cause a phase change. Phase change saving game Genie here for a bit. Tries to counter it. It's a magic stick. Oh, you got me there. Just running. Aw. That works. Hey, it works for me. Oh, the grab crush. Doesn't combo off of it, though. I want to see more leaf storms. I want to see more. I want to see them all. No. That does not work against breaks, and it just doesn't. Jumps the, the Veltal. Whoa! That was actually pretty cool. 
He actually used the hits from Eveltal to cause a uh, cause a counter to cause a uh, critical hit on Brakeson. So she couldn't really combo off of it that much. So Tile just running around. Oh! What is? What are these hitboxes? All right, Fiora takes us 2-0. I'm still going to be questioning how you can throw a, a stick and it acts like a boomerang without, like, breaking it. 